Hi there, my name is Daniel. I'm from the Computer Repair and Sales Company, Elite PCs. Uh, if you're one of the uh, game enthusiasts, uh, Street Legal Racing Redline is a game that uh, amazingly actually did work in Windows 7. However, it does have difficulties working in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Uh, we've recently just installed Windows 8.1 again on this machine as it wasn't working so well. Uh, had some errors there and uh, with with too many errors you don't want to waste time tracking them all down if you don't have to. So we have a clean install. Uh, I've installed Direct Play. Okay, Direct Play is necessary to play Street Legal Racing Redline in Windows 8. So make sure you get Direct Play first and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to actually install the software as it's already installed and working, but I will show you how to get it working. First, we're just going to mount an image. I'm using Alcohol 120%. Uh, it was a lifetime uh, upgrade package that I got uh, through them uh, for 57 euros or something like that. It was a good deal. Great program, so I use it to mount the image. What you're going to do is you're going to have a look here at the the you know, CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, whatever the case might be. Right-click on it. Don't open the autoplay. Just choose Open. You're going to right-click on the slrsetup.exe. Choose Properties. Go to the Compatibility Mode and select Run This uh, Program in Compatibility Mode 4. Just set it to Windows XP Service Pack 2. As you can see, I've already done that and click OK. And you're going to double click on the installer. And you're going to continue through the install. As mentioned, I'm not going to overwrite my current installation as it's already working. Just follow the steps. I recommend you use the default directory. The only reason is I use the default directory when testing this and I don't know if changing that provides any hiccups or anything. So I'm going to cancel it but you would continue on with the installation to the normal uh, destination that you, uh, you uh, would get in the program by default. Now once the game is completed, go ahead and run the game. Make sure the game actually loads. Uh, if if it doesn't load. What you're going to do is you're going to right-click actually on the the uh, the icon. Now, in this case, the icon by default is a different icon for uh, the the default version uh, installed. You may even need to create your own uh, icon for the desktop. You're going to go to properties again compatibility. You're going to run the program compatibility for XP Service Pack 2. You're going to click OK. Go ahead, run it again, make sure that it runs. So once you've confirmed that the game is running, uh, you can unmount the image. We're not going to need that anymore. I'm going to go to where my game patches are for this game. And what you do is, in this case, my patch is the SLRR 2.0 to 221 patch. Again, you're going to right click on it. You're going to go to Properties, Compatibility tab, choose the option to run in the program in compatibility mode for XP Service Pack 2. You're going to click OK, and you're going to double click on the installation. Click Next. You're going to need to select the location of where the executable is installed for the game. In this case, it's Program Files x86, Activation Value, Street Legal Racing, and then you would click Install. So follow the steps straight through. Again, I'm just going to exit this because I have an installed working copy. Once that's installed, again, run the game, make sure it loads. You don't have to actually start a new game, but make sure the menu actually loads. Once that loads, you should be OK. Exit the game. Then this little fella here, this patch, the 2.3.0 Live Edition patch that a lot of gamers are using, um, what you'll notice is when you right click on this patch and you choose Properties, there's no Compatibility tab. Without Compatibility, it will patch the game, but the game will not work. It will either load the uh, beginning of the game showing you 
uh, the, the company name, the movies and such, but when you get to the menu or while you're loading the menu, it will fail. So what we're going to do is cancel this and we're going to let Windows 8's uh, troubleshooter give us a little help here. So we're going to right click on it again and choose the troubleshoot compatibility. Okay, Click on try recommended settings and it tells you it's going to run compatibility mode for XP Service Pack 3. We've been using Service Pack 2 but Service Pack 3 should work. You're going to click test the program. It's going to launch the patch for you. In this case I'm English. You're going to click the patch now button. This location you're going to make sure is this location. We're going to take that, make sure that the location of the game is actually there. For this patch to work, you must follow with a backslash. If you don't, it will it will actually look for the executable under Activision, Activision Values Directory instead of the, the actual street, leasing, re, uh, street re, legal racing red line. So once that's accomplished, you would click Start. I'm not going to do it because I have the working copy, but again, you would follow through the uh, rest of the, uh, the patching process and click exit. I'm going to cancel for mine. And what we have remaining is the compatibility troubleshooter. You we don't need this now. We've got it to launch the program, but we don't need to go through the rest of the steps, so go ahead and cancel it. One last check, make sure that the compatibility is set for Windows Service Pack 2, Windows XP Service Pack 2 rather, and go ahead and launch your game. I'm just going to press escape through these videos, and there we go. We have a working copy of Street Legal Racing Redline in Windows at, uh, 8, which is actually 8.1 and uh, you should be able to configure your video options and go from here. Um, hopefully everything goes well for everyone that's been trying to get this working. If you have any further questions or you get stumped, go ahead and give me a message uh, on, the, on the forum or uh, here on YouTube and uh, I'll try to see if I can help you.